Hey everybody, it's Zero Fossil Fuel. I'm going to take a little departure here for a minute. <clears throat> and I want to show you and share with you a trick to solving one of the most frustrating puzzles on Earth. My youngest daughter gave me this golf ball globe not too long ago, actually a few years ago. And um, every once in a while now they'll come into my bedroom and they'll take it off my nightstand or my my dresser and they'll knock it off and out of fun you know just to just to bug dad and it only takes me two or three tries to get it back up on onto the tee again because uh, I've solved this thing pretty well and it's sort of a joke now and um, I wanted to show you the trick I'm going to try and keep this on camera for you okay and what I'm going to do the, the real trick to getting this ball to come to rest on top of the tee without teetering off is to keep the fluid inside the inside the globe steady. Let the fluid work for you. If you just shake it around like this, all you're going to do is bounce the ball around and while some people can develop a knack for doing it this way, it's not very repeatable and as the fluid sloshes around even if you do get it on top of the tee it's going to push it right back off again so what you really want to do is you want to keep the ball still and you want to rotate the globe underneath the ball and let the fluid push the ball on top of the tee for you so I'm just going to hold it directly in front of me with my two hands like so and as I look into the globe I'm sighting the, the, the ball behind the tee and the ball is precisely centered behind the tee I'm going to tip it forward I'm going to let it come to come to rest, and all I'm going to do in one smooth motion is flip it up and onto the tee. And there you have it, the solution to the golf ball globe puzzle. Enjoy.